I'm going to show you how to hit more greens. Seems a bit obvious that that's one of your goals. However, the way you think you need to hit more greens is actually making you miss more greens. So I'm going to go over some key concepts that are very easy to execute, not just mechanically, but mindset wise. You do that, you're going to hit more greens, your scores are going to be lower. Let's find out how. All right, typical situation on the fairway, okay? The thing is, we see errors that happen even before a swing starts. And I'm gonna tell you what they are. The number one error that you make when it comes to trying to hit your iron shot or even a hybrid onto the green is you choose the wrong club. What I mean by that is, let's say, your, if I asked you, okay, we've got 170 yards. What's your 170 yard club? You'll say uh, five iron or six iron, okay? Six iron if I hit it well. So when you go in onto a golf course, you have 170 yards, you'll go to your bag and you'll collect your six iron. Then you'll go and hit your six iron, you'll hit it okay, and it will come up short, land in the bunker, or land just short of the green on the upslope. Or if you really miss hit it, you're gonna still have a 30 yard pitch in, okay? The thing is, you are choosing the wrong club because you're choosing not your average yardage, you're choosing your perfect yardage if you hit it really well. Now, that's applicable if you're a scratch golfer or better or single digit, you can rely on it a bit more. But if you're still shooting in the 80s or 90s, you have to be more realistic. I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but you have to be honest with yourself. So don't choose the club that, oh, if I get it perfect, it's gonna get me there. Allow for a slightly crap shot. Allow for a slight mishit on the face, whether it's a slight toe, heel, a little bit heavy, whatever it might be. Give yourself a margin for error. And the other benefit to this is, it's not just to help consistency, it's actually gonna help you tremendously with the swing that we're going to do. Because a key aspect to missing greens is the dispersion, okay? And that's not just uh, strike quality, that's also based on the height of the golf ball, the way the height it flies because there's more spin the higher it goes the greater the dispersion can be so we need to as we're looking at the hole we need to reduce that dispersion and we do that by hitting lower controlled shots so we do that by one clubbing up okay that's the key thing the next thing is very important club up but when you're looking at your green that you want to hit to, all the trouble primarily is at the front of the green. So I want you to aim at the back of the green, okay? Just center back. That's your target. That's your objective, okay? That's how you're going to hit more greens. That is your focus. So when you choose your club, when you choose your line and pick your intermediate point, which I hope you're doing by the way, when you pick your intermediate point to set up to, to place the club to, to set your address to, I am not thinking about the flag, I am picturing in my mind the back center of the green. That is crucial, I promise you. That alone, even if you wanna go out and try just that, it's gonna help you, but there's more. So what we're gonna do is adjust the setup to get a lower ball flight. And all we need to do is very simple, okay? We want to reduce the spin. We wanna hit the ball just a little bit lower. So we're gonna move the ball back a couple of inches in our stance. We're gonna stand a couple of inches narrower. We are going to move a little bit more weight over the front foot, okay? All of this is going to get a lower trajectory ball flight which is gonna reduce the dispersion and the, the, the reaction to wind and various things like that. Plus, I've clubbed up because I'm choosing my average yardage. So, by doing this setup change, and then when we actually go to swing, 
I'm just gonna feel a little bit softer, a little bit shorter, okay, on my backswing, but I'm gonna stay balanced. But I'm going to almost curtail my finish just to be a little bit shorter. Now, the, the thing is here, we don't necessarily wanna be doing this with longer irons, you know, where I would say from seven, eight, nine, anything below that. This kind of swing can be very beneficial just to keep it a little bit lower. So that's all we're trying to do. And I assure you with these things, you're going to hit more greens because you are controlling the golf ball just a little bit more, all right? We're hitting it lower, we're hitting it softer. We are hitting it with more control, which gives us the results that we want to be able to hit the greens and the direction that we want the ball to go by keeping it low. So there you have it. There's some very easy, simple tips you can do on the golf course to hit more greens, all right? If you have any questions, let me know. But remember, one of it is mindset, and now the part is choosing the club, and those setup tweaks are gonna reduce the height that you hit the ball, but increase the likelihood of getting that green. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, Follow the link below for a free series and I'll see you next time.